Updated, the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences has issued a formal statement on the matter, saying, consistent with the trademark policy engraved on the base of each statuette. NATAS has made arrangements with the producers of General Hospital for the Academy's safekeeping of Ms. Eddie's statuette in her memory. Soap Opera Network understands that part of the engraving on the base of each Emmy statuette indicates that it should be returned to the Academy in the event the recipient's heir or successor in interest decides to sell it or dispose of it, and that such persons shall be obligated to return the statuette to the Academy from which it was received. Therefore, the Academy would retain the statuette in storage in the memory of the recipient. Yerliger, although there are no plans to take legal action at this time, the family of the late Sonia Eddy, who won a posthumous Daytime Emmy Award last month in the category of Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Daytime Drama Series for her role as Epiphany Johnson on General Hospital, is asking the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. NATAS to intervene in their battle over who gets to keep the Golden Statue, reports TMZ. During the Friday, December 15 broadcast of the 50th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards, Tyler Ford, Eddie's longtime producing partner and friend, accepted the late actor's Emmy Award nearly one year after she passed away after she experienced complications from a non-emergency surgery. In his speech, Ford said, Accepting these flowers is bittersweet. I know that Sonia would only relish in the sweet. I want to thank Frank Valentini more than anything for being a faithful friend. And Disney slash ABC and the cast and crew of General Hospital for embracing her for 16 years. I want to thank the Academy for acknowledging her contribution and craft. Sonia never aspired to be an actor and when while her talent was undeniable, unsure that she is more overjoyed by being remembered for how she made people feel on screen and off. Thank you. According to TMC, the family claims they were never told beforehand that Eddie would win the Emmy posthumously and that Ford allegedly told them he plans on keeping the trophy. In fact, the outlet notes the family is pissed it wasn't given to them in the first place. Currently, the family is waiting to hear back from the Television Academy, per TMC, which incorrectly labeled the governing body behind the daytime Emmys in its report. And ATAS oversees the daytime Emmys while the Television Academy handles the primetime Emmys. Citing Sonia's younger brother, Robbie Eddy, who says the family isn't looking to take legal action against Tyler or the Academy because they wouldn't want to tarnish Sonia's memory with a lawsuit. Still, they at least hope Ford does the right thing by handing over the Emmy to the family, particularly their 84 year old mother, who allegedly sponsored Sonia's Hollywood career. One caveat to all of this is that Sonia Eddy was alleged to have been estranged from some of her family members before she died, including not getting along with her brother because they were fighting over who was going to provide and care for their mom, who has Alzheimer's and dementia. Despite all of that, Robbie says they were working on repairing their relationship before his sister's death. Circling back on the family indicating they were not informed beforehand of Eddie's win, to be clear, that's because award winners are unknown to the public, including those in attendance, until the award is presented during the ceremony. For the Daytime Emmy Awards, more than 1,000 peer professionals from across the television industry took part as judges, with confidential ballots tabulated by the independent accounting firm of Lutz and Care, LLP. For more than 16 years, Sonia Eddy portrayed the role of Nurse Epiphany Johnson on General Hospital in its short-lived spinoff. General Hospital, Night Shift. Sadly, the actress unexpectedly passed away in December following complications related to a minor surgery. Now, for the first time, she's being recognized for her work on the soap opera, receiving a posthumous Daytime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Supporting Performance in a Daytime Drama Series, Actress. Announced this afternoon, Eddie is nominated alongside Krista Allen, The Bold and the Beautiful, Stacey Haydick, Days of Our Lives, Brooke Care, General Hospital, and Kelly Thebod, General Hospital. Eddie previously received recognition for her role on General Hospital in 2021 when she was nominated for a Soap Hub Award in the Favorite General Hospital Actress category. In 2017, she received a Houston Comedy Film Festival Award nomination for her role as a nurse in the short film, Oh Baby. 
Shortly after learning of Eddie's passing in December, General Hospital executive producer Frank Valentini took to Twitter, saying, I am heartbroken about the loss of the incredible at the real Soniet. I truly loved her not only as actress, but as a friend. The lights in the hub of the nurse's station will now be a little dimmer, but her spirit and light will live on in both the show and our set. He added, on behalf of the entire hashtag GH cast and crew, we send our deepest sympathy to her family, friends, and fans. She will be very missed. In March, The Soap aired a special episode dedicated to the actress in which her character's commitment to helping others is highlighted by her friends and closest colleagues and by a stranger played by Eddie's real-life friend, Yvette Nicole Brown, Community. In the March 29 episode, it was revealed that Eddie's character died shortly after rescuing the woman, played by Brown, from a car crash when the fumes from the accident provoked Epiphany's existing heart condition. In an interview with TV Insider, Brown spoke highly of her beloved friend, saying, Sonia was one of the most real people I knew. If she loved you, you knew it. If she didn't, she could still work with you. She didn't suffer fools gladly. She had a heart as big as the moon. She was honest. She understood this industry in a way that most people don't. She navigated things with grace. She gave great advice with a listening ear. She was the first person I'd go to if something was bothering me. I knew she wouldn't judge me and she helped me through it. Taking place at the Weston Bonaventure in Los Angeles, the 50th annual Daytime Emmy Awards is set to air LIV on Friday, June 16 at 9 o'clock p.m. ET slash delayed PT. The telecast will also be available to stream live and on demand on Paramount Plus asterisk. Asterisk Paramount Plus Premium subscribers will have access to stream live via the live feed of their local CBS affiliate on the service and on demand. Essential tier subscribers will have access to on demand the day after the special airs. Weeks after Sonia Eddy unexpectedly passed away, producers of ABC's General Hospital have formally announced plans to dedicate a special episode set to air in late March that will honor the actress who had portrayed Epiphany Johnson on the series since 2006. At the conclusion of the Wednesday, January 11 episode, the soap aired a 15-second in loving memory clip featuring some of Eddie's most memorable scenes, including her performances at the annual Nurses Ball. Later in the day, the show shared the clip on its social channels, noting, Sonia may be gone, but she'll never be forgotten. Our hashtag GH60 celebration will kick off in March with a celebration of her life and her character, the formidable Epiphany Johnson. The announcement of the special episode comes on the same day executive producer Frank Valentini and cast members from the show appear before the press during ABC's portion of the annual Winter Television Critics Association press tour. The soap is celebrating its 60th anniversary this year and is currently the longest-running American TV drama in history. Joining the cast of General Hospital as Epiphany Johnson in 2006, actress Sonia Eddy has died. She was just 55 years old. According to a heartfelt post on Instagram by Eddy's friend, Oscar winner Octavia Spencer, Eddy passed away last night, Monday, December 19. No cause of death was announced. The world lost another creative angel. Her legions of the General Hospital Act fans will miss her, said Spencer. My thoughts and prayers are with her loved ones, friends, and fans. News of Eddie's passing is just beginning to trickle in with several of her colleagues at General Hospital, displaying their condolences in response to Spencer's post, which you can read in full below. I am heartbroken about the loss of the incredible at Theria Sonied, wrote GH executive producer Frank Valentini on Twitter. I truly loved her not only as actress, but as a friend. The lights in the hub of the nurse's station will now be a little dimmer, but her spirit and light will live on in both the show and our set. He added, On behalf of the entire hashtag GH cast and crew, we send our deepest sympathy to her family, friends, and fans. She will be very missed. Following her breakout role on GH, Eddie became an integral part of the show's spinoff, General Hospital. Night Shift, which ran for two seasons on S.O. Apenet. Her IMD lists her with nearly 140 acting credits, including appearances in such shows as A Black Lady Sketch Show, 
fresh off the boat, crazy ex-girlfriend, Tommy, and the middle, among her numerous credits. Early in her career, Eddie played one of the infamous secretaries working for Murphy Brown, Candace Bergen, on Murphy Brown, and appeared in episodes of Seinfeld, Third Rock from the Sun, Saved by the Bell, The New Class, and Diagnosis Murder. 